going on YouTube? It's your boy Sean, aka Sean Steyer, back again with another video. And man, I just sniped the Navi Keita for 950 coins. I think he's selling about 2,000 right now. They just dropped a new Team of the Week SBC. It's untradeable, but it's an 83 rated team. So if you guys have those 83 rated cards, it might be a decent time to sell those in the next couple of days or so. But I want to do another Team of the Year Survive and Thrive kind of thing. It's going to be a short one this time. It's not much to talk about at the moment. Um, I guess just telling you guys what to do right now because. I see a lot of guys just blowing their packs and stuff and opening all their save packs and you know, spending mad FP and stuff on Team of the Year right now. But I'm telling you, this is not the time to do it right now because we can't even see the full team. There's only the attackers, I believe, that's in packs at the moment. Cristiano Ronaldo, Lionel Messi, as I said, it was going to be those two. And then Harry Kane's the third one, who I predicted would also get in the Team of the Year. So it's only those three players at the moment. I don't think it's worth, you know, opening all your packs and stuff for a chance those three players because they're kind of hard to pack as it is like those players are hard to pack even their nine forms but now they got a team of the years in packs is like 96 rated 99 98 rated like those guys are gonna be next to impossible to pack i don't think i've seen even any big youtubers like all, even all the guys that spend you know thousand dollars on the game they haven't even packed any of these guys yet so don't waste your coins and packs and stuff just yet save it for the entire team of the year wait till it's in packs i think it's going to be thursday or friday because they right now they got the attackers and stuff i think pretty soon they're going to do the midfielders and then it's going to be the defenders and goalkeeper and then right after that it's going to be the entire team so that's when you want to open your packs you know you're going to have the best chance of packing a blue player what EA is trying to do by putting out the attackers first, they're going to make everyone open their packs. Like, I'm going to get Messi, Ronaldo and stuff. I'm telling you guys, it's a trap. Because you got you to think about this from EA's mindset. EA wants to make as much money as possible. So they say, hey, we can release the whole team at once. But everyone's going to open their packs. It's going to be that. But what we can do instead, we're going to release the attackers, the most hyped players first. So everyone's going to open their packs and stuff. Then they're going to buy a few points then. But a few days later down the road, we're going to release the entire team. And that's going to make people want to buy FIFA points and open stuff again a second time. So what they're seeing, you know, is a two for one opportunity. What I'm saying is don't give them that opportunity. You guys got to be smart. This thing's a marathon, not a sprint. So save your packs like I'm doing for Friday or whatever day the full team comes out. Now, as for the SBC, they're putting out daily SBC. We're going to take a look at this one. Looks like we got a gold players pack as reward. Not too bad. Let's see what the requirements are. You're gonna have to have at least one Italy player, four players from the same league maximum, four players in the same nation maximum, exactly gold players, 100 chemistry, and 11 players in the squad. So I think with the Italy thing, this is kind of hitting at like a Leonardo Bonucci or perhaps even a Gianluigi Buffon. I think Buffon probably won't make it in because of David De Gea's popularity, even though he completely deserved it over De Gea, in my opinion. Um, but I think Bonucci has a really good chance of making it in. He's not been good this year, but he's had a great 2017. And I think he deserves to be in the team based on his last calendar year. But I'm going to go ahead and fill some players in for my club, and we'll be right back. So this is the team I decided to build in the end. My one piece of advice for this SBC. Don't try it. I spent entirely way too much on this one. The 100 chemistry requirement is pretty difficult considering the guys it's a hybrid with different leagues and nations. It's just not worth the hassle in the end. I know I spent way more than what I'm going to get back from the pack. Looking at the team, we have Jalzinho as our left wing. Striker is going to be Luis Adriano. Right wing, I have to convert him from right mid, is Alexander Semedov. Center mid, we have Ignacio Fernandez. He's going to hyperlink to his teammate Leonardo Ponzio. And he's also going to hyperlink to Enzo Perez. In the back, we have some Serie A players. We have Ricardo Rodriguez. We have Christian Zapata, a center back. Gianluigi Donnarumma at goalkeeper. Gabriel Paletta as their right center back. And finally, we have Jose Luis Gomez as the right back. I spent entirely too much on this team. I don't even want to think about this point. We're going to go ahead and submit that for a premium gold players pack. I really hope the ones in the future are much less difficult than this one. Because that was crazy. There's the team we upgrade pack, as I mentioned earlier. I think they might be dropping a tradable one in the future as well, so it might be a good idea to stock up with some cheap informs. There's a lot of discard informs right now. Even the silvers, like some of the silvers even go up in price. So there's some for like, you know, 10k, 11k or less. That might be a good buy there. Uh, we do have some league upgrades as well. I tend to stay away from these SBCs because they're just not great in terms of what you get back out of them. 
I've yet to pack a decent player out of doing a bunch of the premium Serie A ones. I know some people have had luck with the Premier League ones, especially that one week where it's like pretty much all Premier League players in the team of the week. But for the most part, I would say stay away from these kind of SBCs because nine times out of 10, you get a player that's lower 80 rated. So it's just not worth in my opinion. But these ones, on the other hand, the 81 plus double guarantee, these are entirely worth it. If you guys have a lot of duplicates, you know, from opening your packs and stuff, I'd say submit these all in the 81 double guarantees because people are getting crazy cards out of these things. I mean, I believe it's even possible to get team of the year cards out of these. So this is the move, guys. Wait for, you know, the full team to be released. And then when you open all your packs and get a bunch of duplicates, save those and convert them all into these packs. 100% this is the way to go. But anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you all enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Helps the channel grow and lets me know that you enjoy this kind of content. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell icon so you get notified whenever I make a new video, so you can be the first to get in on the action. Thank you all for watching, stay tuned, and I will see you next time.